Alright, so hey guys, today I'm going to be going through a Warframe weapon build video. This build video will actually have synergy in a helmet system idea, or you can just take Wisp, depends how you use it. But we are going to be using Breach Surge, the Kuba Nucor, and a Stat Stick Sentinel Helios. This build is a full-on red crit Zaw of the Plague Keywar. I have a build with a ribbon and without a ribbon. If anybody's wondering, it is a gilded Zaw, so that means that I've maxed it twice. And it's also forma so it has one forma on it, and it is gilded. This Zaw will surprise you with the amount of damage it can do. But without further ado, let's get into the synergies. Alright, so first up we have a deconstruct with the gladiator mod to get extra crit to make sure it red crits for our melee. Then we have the Kuba Nucor. This really just needs to proc viral. The extra stuff here is if you also want to use it as a DPS in general. But honestly, all you really need is status chance and viral and the heat 60-60. The rest you do not exactly need. So for the Traveler's Blade, I have for the Link Varget 2 Jai for the speed and crit chance. Then I have the Shatug for the damage, but it kind of minuses the attack speed. And then I have the Plague Kiwar for the strike. The Plague Kiwar is unique because it comes with Viral as a base element. Alright, so now we're gonna get into the weapon synergy. If you guys want to see my build for my Ember, I will leave a link in the description or at the end of the video so that you guys can see the build video that's already up for her. But now let's get into the one form of weapon plague keyword build. So first of all, the clip that you were seeing since the start of the video until now, this was the build, it was the ribbon setup. We have crashing, or no, clashing force in the combo slot because first of all it mixes well, gives us more multi hits. Also, it works well in general as it has a lot of nice combos that can help you get combos. We have Blood Rush for the crit chance and Weeping Wounds for the status chance. They both get crit chance and status chance higher up with every combo multiplier, allowing you to do amazing DPS at 12 times combo. Then we have the Organ Shatter, which when you're a red crit will triple the multiplier, right? So at 5.3 it will basically be at like 15 times. Drifting Contact we have for the combo duration, so that our combo stays up longer. Condition Overload for the plus damage per status effect, this works well for the synergies when it comes to all the elements we're going to be propping on the target. The Virulent Scourge and Shocking Touch for the electricity, and then my Riven with crit damage and damage. So now this is the no riven setup, it's still doing pretty good right? You're still seeing amazing damage numbers and I'm still completely demolishing enemies with very little effort. First of all, you do not need a play QR ribbon. I have the play QR ribbon because I have too many Zaw ribbons and I just got lucky. You can do this without a play QR ribbon, I'm pretty sure that was a million damage. I think that was higher than with the ribbon. The ribbon only does so much. So now let's get into the no ribbon set. So this is the no ribbon setup. We have blood rush and weeping wounds again so that we get crit and status chance with every combo multiplier. Then we have organ shatter for the crit damage. Drifting contact for the combo duration. Condition overload for all the damage we're going to get with all the status effects on the enemy. 
and we have pressure point instead of the ribbon, which will actually get us damage. We don't get the crit damage as you can see there, but we do still get more damage in general. Then we have shocking touch for the electricity, and then brewing scourge for toxic to create corrosive. Now, what you're probably wondering is, out of both of the builds, why do I not have the faction mods? Now, faction mods give us 55% damage increase at max, pretty much, towards a faction. Three times for physical, no, three times for physical, and two times for toxic. This would unbalance the ratio of the damage in general right now. You see how Slash is at my top, then next we have Corrosive and a little bit of Viral. I mitigated that with the Kuba Newport, which could get Viral and Heat on the enemies easily. If we were to put the Faction on, it tends to be pretty much all Slash and no Corrosive. But if you want to do that, you can totally just do that instead. It was a personal preference for me. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the build. Um, if you like it, make sure to stay tuned. As for next, I'm going to be doing a Octavia. Either helmet or just a general build. Really depending. I'm still deciding upon that. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. If you like the video, leave a comment on what you like. Any problems with the video, I always like to improve, so just leave a comment in the comments. I'll always try and fix them the next time. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.